Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Sniffpod, and welcome to episode 27 of my Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play series. So, in the last episode, I ended up making an enclosure for these giant floating creatures, the big old Indian elephants. I think I did a pretty good job on this, made a big old shelter for them as well, kind of like you'd see in a normal zoo, like in a real life zoo, rather. But like, yeah, I think this turned out pretty well. But in today's video, we are going to be making an enclosure for the Chinese pangolins. This was suggested by Superman1234. So we're gonna get into that today. And as well as that, there's also some new stuff we have to talk about, including a new update and some DLC. But before we get into this, I just wanted to say, if you guys enjoy the video, then make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another upload. I have a lot planned and I want you guys to see what I'm doing for the channel. Uh, comment down below what animal you want to see in the next video. I love doing this with my community. It helps me like just communicate with them more, get them to know me, I guess. And um, just follow my socials, join my Discord. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And let's just get straight into this. And I really hope you guys enjoy. All right, here's the stuff we need to know about the penguins. So group for one to three. So I'll probably do like one male, two females. Uh, and Superfriend did suggest we make a walk through enclosure. However, they are shy, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to risk that, just in case, you know, like, low welfare and stuff. But, anyways, uh, so let's see here, so if you want three adults, I'm assuming it'll be, like, uh, between two and four offspring at a time, so we need 246 square meters of land, and I'll obviously add, like, a little bit water, so I'll make it a little bit bigger, so... That's pretty much everything we gotta do, so let's get straight into it. Hey, um, it's me. All the speed builds going on. I just wanted to talk about other things. So, first off, update 1.13 releases on the 4th of April. So, uh, this comes with animal sociality, which basically just how animals behave when we're inside of, like, too big, too small. And basically, one of the things it will do, it shows, like, it leaves out animals when we too big. And like it adds, adds new behavior support groups. Uh, there's also no path where you can like completely hide paths, just make your own, which I think sounds pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'll use that, but it does sound pretty cool. Basically, use it for natural paths. There's also new axes for advanced movement, and you can toggle climbable objects to allow animals like whether you want them to climb on there or not. And also, here's the big thing, there's a new DLC, again, released on the 4th of April, called the Tropical Pack. And it looks like it's going to be a scenery pack. It adds a few new animals, so it adds the Bar Gibbon, the Fossa, the Asian Water Monitor, the Red River Hog, and the Water Room Tibet Animal is the Brown Throated Sloth. Seems pretty cool, but I'm not sure if they should have made it an exhibit animal, I feel like it would be better off closure animal and then something else as a exhibit animal so it's like a bird or something but here's what it is so there's also a few new plants such as epiphytes the pitchers plant and the rafflesia and some new scenery items inspired by like southeast asia and places like that and there's a new career scenario so like I said, that'll also be available on the 4th of April. It'll cost $7.99, well, £8, or $10, or €10. Euros. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Just decided to talk about that now, because obviously I didn't make a video last week about it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so here's the completed enclosure. Obviously, a bit of shelter in here. Might add a bit of light in there, just in case. Uh, scattered some rocks around. Put in, like, a little pool of water. And the work zones over here with our staff. I just made that off camera a couple seconds ago. So, firstly, let me just quickly try and find like a food bowl for them. So, we'll go with this one. Alright, so now that that's in there, uh, I can start looking for a pangolin. So, ideally, I want. Two females and a male, if I can afford them. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. 
Um, one one with decent footer. This one's good. I want this one. Alright, now it's just... I'll get this one. And I'll come to get this one, why not? Hello? You buy it? Oh, there we go. Alright, so, what's gonna happen now is, same as usual, pretty much. I'm gonna put them all the way down here in quarantine. Wait for them to finish, like, being quarantined. And then once they're done, I'll send them into their new enclosure. And then I'll put in, like, enrichment, plants, and stuff like that. But while I'm waiting, I'll put, like, the education uh, stations, donation boxes, just things like that, just around the enclosure. So, yeah, be back when that's done. Alright, so, now the pangolins are here, um, I can get on to adding the enrichment, the plants, changing the terrain. I've added in bins, benches, donation, education, all that sort of stuff. So I just need to get those turned on, and I'll get those finished now. Alright, so that is everything done, and that's also going to leave it there for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed, like I said earlier, then uh, make sure to like and subscribe, that will really help me out, and uh, turn on post notifications so you don't miss another upload, I have a lot planned for this channel, I want you guys to see what it is, comment down below what animal you want to see in the next video, and also join my discord, follow my socials, I'll leave the links down in the description, but anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.